Okay, today we're going to take a little look at uh, problems of overcompression. And the inverse of that, or the solution, is to decompress it. Now, these are level-independent or level-dependent uh, processes that are done by the producer or perhaps a program that was misadjusted. So, we're going to take a look at this particular case I've been working on today, and I want to share with this with you. It was a voiceover done a few years ago with a headset, and the instructor used the proper compressor, but he was too close to the mic. So, let's preview it. Recently, I discovered that my belief system was not working for me. My belief system was a product of my parents, my teachers, clergy, okay. books I've read. All right, we're going to stop that. Now we're going to go into uh, the program by Flux Immersive called Pure Decompressor. It looks imposing, and it is. But once you get the hang of it, you'll understand how it's done. Let's preview a little bit of some of my processes and steps I've done today. And I want to take you through the whole process of how I did this. Recently, I discovered that my belief First system I was not working for me. Up in the upper left-hand corner, adjusted the input teachers, clergy, to home in. I read television. You movies, can see I'm moving the internet, upper left-hand so input. I controls. did not realize that my belief system was working and against And you need me. to get somewhere where it can work it. One I had, now on the right-hand no upper corner, you'll see the it. graph where the Further, green dots are showing where the system was not working for me, results are going to be from the curves. A habit. This is an inverse it. of the compressor. It was my comfort zone. On the left-hand knob it, I was of the controls there. in the control because panels, I felt safe here's the throw. Knew what to expect. There's the threshold. I'm. I have often confronted my clients about a particular behavior that is related to their belief system, and the answer You'll see has where it's rocking in. Been the same. The second yes, one over is called the, the ratio. Am. They fail to realize that if they continue to behave. The way and you will see behave, the or listen to the get. changes. In order to get something different, you have to get out of your comfort zone. Now, one of the initiate change benefits of mid-side recording sapien, here is in the mid side the MS width. Stuck. I'm turning it on now, right where you are, and I'm going to turn change that around. Change is not easy, but it is possible. Keep in mind that change takes as much time as it takes. Be patient with yourself. Now you may want to adjust the volume Ruiz, input. He recommended that we adopt the following four guidelines. I am for getting your more side. System. First, let's go back over speech. here to the mid Always set. say what you mean no, and we don't mean what you say. No, maybe we can Two, go. stop taking things personally. Three. Now let's adjust the knee. That's the fourth. And four. Or the right hand do the control best knob. You can. If you adopt these guidelines, you can anticipate that positive change will occur. Oh, well, that sounds and again, better. again, change takes time. There's less so be patient. Siblings. Now let's take a look at each the of these guidelines. The side control takes First, care of that. Say what you mean and mean what you say. Let's take the MS we off. We don't realize how powerful words can be. Yes, no, in most turning instances, it on. Put the MS words on. Words were the things that got you in. We don't realize how no, powerful too much words base. can be. Let's Think of a time tone it down a little boss, bit. A friend, an enemy, or your spouse offended you. Yes, in most instances, this was done. Now you could hear the words. real sibilance so the At times these words higher are frequencies said casually without any thought. That can be adjusted a little bit by on the bottom row. Particular feeling the uh, you see I'm going to do the MS time. to peak. And the person who 
said the words um, has no idea of the inner turmoil. During the peak these words have to the left is the peak adjustment. You. Notice how politicians manipulate the electorate during the election to get their vote. Even right. they know the promises they make are The dynamic to factor off to the, once they're in the office. right of that or in I'm the middle row of the bottom. Limits. One of the candidates for Congress in my district that vo I voted for uh, moving promised around. that he would only stay for two terms. Fortunately, he finally yeah. got out after four terms only because right. he was appointed Now, the level the independent, LID, is at 12%. I'm going to I change that. I was disappointed that. in him because he turned out to be just another political hack. Now, look at the chaos that the words of Adolf Hitler created. It was his speeches that mesmerized the German people, and he was elected the chancellor. And that gave him the opportunity Again, to develop one of that. the most heinous political you can hear philosophies the distortion clipping of the going 20th on. century. Next, when you take things personally, you turn your power over to the other well, Let's person. go back to the input gain in the upper. Taking things personally can also Increase create a little bit. feelings of anger. And when you can't let put. go of the anger, it becomes resentment. It. And what makes resentment so no, insidious, really ho it's in a way it. that others control you through you. Every time you think of now them, the they knee got you. If, in the Every graph, you can you see is fairly sharp. What they did, we'll go to the knee, again, the fourth and to the right, even fourth know knob. That they've got you. Also, anger can be physiologically unhealthy. We'll just smooth a that out. Done by uh, the scientists at Duke University or a group of medical Let's students. Let's go back to the MS given a personality again. Scale. Twenty-five years later, they checked out to see which of these doctors had okay, a heart attack and had died the from left. a heart attack. Then they checked the personality scale to, oh, and I discovered that hostility and anger more were the outstanding personality traits of these doctors. Put it right about they there. also discovered that when a person is hostile and angry, the body develops three hormones, adrenaline, non-adrenaline, and cortisol. And when these hormones get into your blood, there's still a little bit more form cholesterol low gatherings frequencies that need vessel. to be taken out. So if you spend most of your time in this time process, we can do angry, that through. You're really killing yourself. Remember, when something is said to you, no, that kind of splits it, it out a little bit. You don't want to do that, that too far. That person's opinion is just that person's opinion. Uh, another one it has nothing to do with you. It's them. Turn For it down example, a little bit. criticizes you. I'm going about, to try uh, a couple of different dressed, other modes. Take it personally. They got you. If you realize that. It's just their opinion. This is the second row down. This do is the you, and you let it go. It's this gone. is their built-in. Once you stop taking things personally, that's another step to managing the stress of living in the twenty-first century. Going to medium. We spend a great deal of time making assumptions. The Armenian philosopher Gurdjieff wrote that man lives in a fog. He Going doesn't see, see fast. things as they really are. See because medium. when he's faced with a particular stressful situation, his thoughts are activated, which in turn brings about some emotions. And Go then it to makes it impossible to see things as they really adjusted are. The MS. For example, a number of years ago, I came home from Florida in March. I live in New England, and so the first week I'm home, it snowed three times. So I'm coming out and of the house to mode. after the third shoveling of snow, and right, my now thoughts I'm go down to the threshold. I hate the snow. Then my emotions kicked in. Wow, I hope it's not this way yes. for the rest of the month. And then I stop myself. Going to because the ratio? I live in New England, and I realize that what it does in March, it snows. What are my choices? I can stay in the house till April, I can shovel the snow, or I can move to Florida. Why am I going through these mental gymnastics? In the aforementioned situation, once my Bring thoughts the need activated ratio down. my emotions, I began so. to assume that it was going to snow again. 
Now we go I back to the ratio. My mind with mental range. garbage. My assumption was not realistic. It had yeah, no relationship with reality. It was just an assumption. Why was I upsetting myself by assuming it was going to snow again? Because I spent most of my life up in my head making assumptions that never came to fruition. Range. It was a habit. Nice. I had become attached or addicted to making we'll back assumptions. To the threshold. It was a waste of mental energy. In his Four Noble Truths, See, Buddha it's too, wrote, still too life much is pain and suffering. But it no is working. Let me turn the that. MS off. His next Noble Truth was, attachment creates pain and suffering. Okay, this seems to sound a little better. I'm attached to something but still or someone, and it's no longer there. Then the volume down. Very painful. The next noble truth was we can get rid of our pain and suffering. Again, you get a lot of low frequencies with a microphone that is living close to your lips. Of wisdom and compassion and meditation. That is, by quieting the mind and letting things go. He's got a lot to say, too. Letting our pretty, attachments go. Pretty, and you can do this by listening to the okay, CDs took the MS that are off. attached to this program and by letting things go. And when you're feeling good, okay, we then turn that back on. What the emotion change, change, change. Researchers have concluded that we have sixty thousand thoughts a day. So if you already keep track of these thoughts, on the bottom you've you got the any time left automation. I'm going to bring that. However, all you have to do is to be aware of how you are okay. feeling and when you're yep. not feeling good Here's the bypass check on. what emotion has bypass off your mind to make you feel that Here's way. this graphic smoothing go remember so, emotions are just emotions smoothing so you they can see what's going and on go, and if the you dynamic velocity them, needs to be changed them go for example when you are frustrated you say 0.707 is rms saying I dynamic have a factor of frustration when negative feelings come into your life you have four choices you can suppress the feeling and then you own it you can express the feeling however you can't always do that Three, here's the release you mode can find a substitute for it like food alcohol drugs and so forth to mask the pain the emotion creates and, four, and the hold is 31 milliseconds. Let it go. Yes, just let it go. And obviously, the best choice Reduce that to 17 is milliseconds. just to let it go. Finally, do the best you can. Move back up to the no mode. No matter what you're involved in doing, this should be your motivating factor. For example, if you love your job, that's not a problem. However, if you don't like your back job, to the game. doing your best can be quite difficult or even sometimes quite impossible. The problem is compounded if you are taking things personally, you know, that which Justin? may generate such emotions as anger, resentment, frustration, fear, anxiety, and so forth. And you're making assumptions that are really the, not valid. Just bypass it. Just assumptions that yeah. create inner turmoil and these two variables can hamper you from doing the best you go can to the ratio. the job. Let me ask you a rhetorical question. Would you go to work every day if they didn't pay you? Bring it back down to linear. I hope that this rhetorical question has put your job into So the compression was pretty much linear to there begin there with. Every day so we have to, to be able to adjust this so you can live your or life experiment to find out where it was you love as best originally you done. Can. It's, it's really every tricky. Every one of us has three entities. Going back to the threshold again. That have taken up residence in our mind. Going the back parasite, to 40 dB. Judge and the victim. The parasite's major role is to look for negativity. That's right. Here's a it only looks 16 at the dB negative threshold. side of our lives to criticize us and put us down. Then it takes all of this negative information and gives Bring it back. to the judge, who in turn uses this Let's information right about there. to make us the victim. 
And this creates Let's try another knee adjustment. negative feelings that makes it even more and more difficult to control and cope the with the stress again. of living in this century. The parasite, the judge, and the victim have no interest at all in the positive aspects of your life. Their major focus is Take on the negativity MSR. and to keep you upset, insecure, and unbalanced as possible. It's up to you to evict the parasite, the judge, and the victim from your mind so that you will be able to focus on and have appreciation and gratitude for the positive aspects of your life. Here are seven things that you can do to include in your belief system to keep yourself stressed and miserable. One, depend on others to make you happy. Two, your unhappiness is not your fault. Others make you unhappy. Three, use could have and should have whenever you can regarding time, money, relationships, and so forth. Four, Always compare what you have with others. Five, always be serious. Six, be sure that you take responsibility for everything all of the time. Seven, Let's never it. say no and try to please everyone all of the time. Eight, help others, but don't let anyone help you. Especially don't help yourself. That's not about you, but I'm listening Nine, to him. Remember, your own needs are unimportant. 10. If you get a compliment, be sure to discount it. 11. Exaggerate everything anyone says. 12. Suppress your feelings by pretending to be calm and cool. 13. Resist change to the death. 14. Strive to be absolutely perfect. 15. Don't live in the present. Always live in the future and the past. 16. Always focus on the negative. And 17. In the midst of great success, always find a glimmer of disaster. Remember, if you continue to do what you're doing now, you'll continue to get what you're getting now. And if you don't like what you're getting, then follow the program as outlined on these CDs and in the plan of action. Well, that was a plan of action for sure, Al. And I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little lecture and also the processes that can be uh, very challenging for sure, as you can see. So that's it for today's Studio 57A. See you next time.